Greetings my friends, I'm doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. I'm doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. I'm just a normal guy who's doing 10,000 pull-ups to pie. I've actually just noticed that this camera is slightly off on the phone. I'm just going to twist it around. There you go, it's more sensual. That's good, isn't it? You know, I like things in symmetry, don't we? Yes. Okay, so um, day 32 today of the 10,000 pull-up day, uh, by a challenge, or whatever. Um, and we are in digits 3,101 to 3,200. I know, sounds like we're getting along. Still seems a long way to the finish line, but, uh, and it is. Quick run down again. So I'm trying to measure, measure. I'm, I'm trying to um, get 10,000 digits, memorize 10,000 digits of pi into my head. Um, and then I've just decided that I throw in 10,000 pull-ups as well, which I'm actually just gonna hang here and stretch a little bit because I'm suffering from a bit of a um, golfer's elbow, even though it should be called pull-up elbow, I guess. But um, it's a bit painful on that. So I've been doing me stretching before and after and a few times through the day. And I just, I've warmed it up so I don't want to kind of let it cool down, if you know what I mean. Um, so, okay, yeah, so, um, I'm, I'll actually tell you later what I've been doing. I've decided yesterday that uh, I would try something slightly different. So I'll crack on with that in a minute. But we'll just, we'll just crack on today. Um, and I'll talk about why I'm doing this as I'm doing it, uh, rather than everything splurging at the beginning. So we can just get on with it because... I've got a busy day ahead, my friends, as I'm sure you have as well. You don't watch this crazy guy uh, for too long. Okay, so the, the digits are behind. I'm going to do them in, uh, they're all in blocks of five. Uh, so I'm going to do 10 at a time. And then uh, once I've done 50, we'll take it off. We'll see if I'm right. And then we'll have a bit of a waffle. And then we'll do the rest. And then I'll be done. You know, it's just like in, out, pie digits, sorted, baby. You know, that's you for the day. Right, let's get going. Okay. Zero, three, zero, six, eight, zero, three, eight, four, eight. Yes, first ten out of the way, my friends. Feels good. Feels good. Right, where's the pen? Um, where is the pen? Ah, it's over here. I've got this other mark. I've been using um, the other pens are starting to run out, so I've got this cool one here. Uh, right, this is a pen, really. Okay, <laughs> zero three, zero three, zero six, eight, zero three, um, eight four, four. I know you can't see these from back there. Uh, once I'm done, I'll bring the whole thing forward so you can see that. I haven't had to be a cheating, my friends. Ah, oh, yes, you should always try and speak with an accent whenever possible. Okay. Uh, so I'm, I'm walking through a journey in my mind of the locations, 20 locations each day gives me 100 spots, five numbers on each location. So this is just down the street, close to where I actually live. I've, you can go vast and you can go over hills and dales and all these, you can be inside of houses, you can um, watch movies and, and, and put locations in there as long as they're kind of sequential uh, and they make sense to you, to, just to make it for ease of uh, recall. Anyhow. I'll talk about that in a minute. <laughs> oh, it's just ease in there again. Oh, the forearms, my friends. Okay. Seven, seven, three, four, five, four, nine, two, zero, ah, two. Ah, that's stretch, honestly. <laughs> Starts to ease off as I, as I get through a light, but. That outside one, I must admit, I might start dropping that off because it's um, it seems to put extra strain on the arm. Okay, uh, seven, seven, three, four, five, four, nine, um, two, zero, two. All right. Okay. Can't with the rest. We'll get the fifty. And I'll have a, we'll have a chat for just a couple of minutes. Where am I? In my head. There I am. <laughs> Six, zero, five, four, one, four, six, six, five, ooh, nine. Oh my god! <laughs> the pain I put myself through for for you guys, you know, it's just 
Why? Why do I do it? Because I love everybody. Yes. Um, six zero. Michael Jordan, fifty four. Emily De Chanel from uh, uh, Bones and four six. David Schwimmer, dancing <laughs> and drinking some wine. Yes, just random words I'm talking about, but I'll uh, explain them a little later. One, two, three, four. Okay, uh, Yes, there I am. <laughs> oh. Two, five, two, zero, one, four, nine, seven, four, four. Uh, right, last couple. Uh, okay. Two and uh, okay. Ooh. Two, eight, five, zero, seven, three, two, five, one, eight. Okay. Two eight five zero seven uh, three two three two five one eight. Okay. Right. Let's see if I'm right first. Uh, okay. I know you can't see this. Uh, I don't think you can. <laughs> uh, but everything seems to be correct. Uh, yep. So, again, this is the 30 second one. Um, I'll stop saying that, okay, I'll, I'll just get on. If, if someone's watching this, they're watching this. <laughs> you know, um, but if no one's seen the other ones, is what I'm saying, then I'll go through them. So, uh, how do I get to memorize these numbers? So, I've created it. I need to print the thing off actually, so I can show you and get it laminated, which is my personal action object list. I think I've got one somewhere. Uh, anyhow, <laughs> um, yes. So I've converted all the numbers into letters. Uh, that's correct. Yeah. So, so zero is O, one is A, two is B, three is C, four is D, five is E, six is S, seven is G, eight is H, and nine is N. There's other systems out there, I know a couple of them, but uh, the major memory system as well, and this person action object one, um, which I think it's maybe called the Dominic uh, technique, but who knows really, I mean, memory techniques have been used for thousands of years, um, I think it was Simonides um, a few thousand years ago, uh, managed to recall this ancient, uh, it was this accident that happened in this big, uh, dining in the hall where it collapsed and he was able to tell you who was in there by using the location of the people. Anyhow, I think that's where the, the journey method came from. But, and it could have been uh, earlier than that, I'm sure it was. Okay, <laughs> so I'm creating a journey in my mind of locations. Locations could be anything. It could start at, if you can, I know you can't see this on the, on the Facebook one. Um, but, okay, so Again, there's a, there's a big box there, so you could use that. And then you could use uh, the rings here, this this ring or this location. I mean, you could use all of these things. You could know that there's, say, five of them and go and you just place these locations. Each one of these could be placed, each five digit could be placed on here because even though you see this thing, it's it's a marker for your mind to, to come up with this, um, this picture that you create from the, the person action object. So you place them there, but I find that, me personally, the more space there is between things, it's easier to, for your mind to, for me, uh, to latch on and recall them. If it's too close and using the same type of things, I just find it a bit more complicated. But I'm sure with practice, um, you know, these things will become a bit easier. But v variety um, certainly helps in, in for me, anyhow. So 
Anyhow, so on this particular one, it's actually in a driveway. So it's zero 03. So this is the person. Um, so I've turned the, the numbers in the, in the letter. So zero 03 is O in C. So it's uh, Oliver Cromwell. So from the film The Tudors, there's uh, the actor who played it, whatever he's called. So I see him and he, he almost, his action is getting beheaded. <laughs> so even when he's not the action, when he's the person, I still kind of see him having some injury to his neck, you know, um, just to kind of solidify that that's the character. And then he's doing the action of O.J. Simpson, which um, is, you know, just leave, I'll leave it to your imagination or what O.J. is doing. And uh, it's in the snow. It looks like a snowman, so that's almost all I ever use it for now is snow or snowman or ice or something like that. Okay, so, and they're in this one location doing a specific thing. He's doing the action of him in this is the, the, the atmosphere of what's happening. Or, or on the next one, again, it's Oliver Cromwell and he's carrying the, um, the uh, Humphrey Davies. H is 8, 4 is D. Humphrey Davies oil lamp, uh, no miner's lamp, shall I say. So he's carrying that um, and he's walking through a door. So it's literally the, the vision I'm seeing. It's just this road sign. There's a few signs together in poles. So actually the road sign almost looks like a door as well. So I'm mean, imagining the uh, the posts come down. I imagine it's a bit like a Stargate thing. The door just whoosh, suddenly becomes this light beam thing. And he just walks through it. You know, like uh, he's like it's a very dark at night because uh, quite often I have when it's got when I've got the Humphrey Davies one, I have it dark. So the the, uh, the lamp thing is illuminating things, and um, possibly he gets beheaded when he's walking through there. Anyhow, so that's kind of and I just again go through the list there, uh, uh, place and locations. And it's more helpful the more you know a location and a route, and then you can just go through it in your head in and out, in and out. And I take pictures of all the things as well. And I find um, that obviously the looking at the location and the picture certainly helps because I've got a book with just the numbers in, in text, and it doesn't ignite in my mind as much as images do. Um, again, maybe it's different for other people's minds, I don't know, but for me. And I can imagine most people, I mean, you're watching TV with visual people, you know, so, um, again, this is why I've actually started taking things from movies. I'll, I'll talk about that in a minute, let's get, we'll get on with the next, we'll get on with the next 50, and then I'll, um, I'll discuss a few things, and I'll tell you what I'm, what I'm actually doing today, uh, just to try and make my life a little bit easier. Uh, so I'm just stretching again here. Right, okay, so, I'm, uh, I'm refocusing my mind again of where I am. Um, okay, I'm at that finish of that location. So now I'm on to the next one. Let's go, my friends. Next 50. Six, 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 zero, zero, two, one, three, two, four. Right. I know I'll be tempted to tell you what these are, but I'm just not going to. Uh, not that I don't want to keep a secret, I'm just six, six, six. Oh no, run! The devil's coming for you. Uh, two, one, three, two, four. I like this pen. I really do. It's very nice. <laughs> I, I think I'm going to avoid the outer ones again because of the pressure it put on it. So um, I'll just go in on this location. Right, here we go. Three, four, zero, eight, eight, one, nine, zero, seven, one. Ah! Oh no, the lid has come off. My God. Whew, now a disaster averted. My God. <laughs> uh, three, four, Zero eight eight and one nine zero seven one. Okay, I seem to have developed an accent again. <laughs> oh my! <Whew. laughs> zero four eight six three three one. Seven, three, four. 
Okay. Uh, 04863 and uh, what did I say? 31734. Okay. Four to go. <laughs> uh, one, two, three, four. Okay. Let's stretch this out a bit again. Like you say, I've uh, damaged my forearms, the uh, golfer's elbow, it's really painful. <laughs> I've had tennis elbow before, that was really painful. Golfer's elbow, equally as painful. Uh, it's like this, the tendons going into the elbow here have, I've torn them uh, or damaged them or whatever. And I, I'm pretty sure it was when I was at the gym not long ago and I was trying to, again, like I often do, try and get ahead of my capabilities. And I was like curling uh, 15 kilos, which on like, um, but I hadn't really curled and did, and did, uh, did, hadn't did pull ups for, not pull ups, what am I talking about, curls for ages. And I was just like, yeah, I can lift that weight. So I'm certain that that's where this come, came from because it's happened on both arms. Um, this one's the worst because I've done pull ups for years and I've never had this injury before even when I've been wearing my weight vest and doing things, so, yeah. <laughs> Anyhow, let's go on with the, uh, oh, was that, 31734, okay, right. Ooh, ah, uh, six, four, um, nine, six, five, um, one, four, five, three, um, one, four, five, three. Hmm, yeah. Nine. Almost forgot that last digit there. It happens. I don't have a perfect memory, my friends, I know. Crazy. <laughs> six, four, uh, nine, six, five, one, four, five, three, nine, I think. Pretty sure it is. <sighs> last couple. And I'll do the big reveal, my friends. <laughs> da, 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 da. No. <laughs> uh, get in my head, see the locations. Uh, okay. <sighs> Zero, five, seven, nine, six, two, six, eight, five, oh, six. Whew. Okay. Uh, Right, um, zero five seven nine six two six eight five uh, six, I believe. I think. <laughs> right, Whew. the sign of the devil. <laughs> oh, my, uh, um. Yes, everything seems to be cool. I'll, uh, I shall just show you. Mm-hmm. ba ba It is a big reveal, my friends. Here, here you'll see the answers, yes. And look into my eyes. My eyebrows move. God, I just want a set of those, uh, those, like, Jack Black ones, you know, the kind of, those, like, moving one, like, the wave eyebrows. And I need to work on that one. Whew. Anyhow, so the sign of the devil one, is if you remember what I was saying before about what the digits represent. So S is six. Uh, so yeah, okay, that's right. Yeah. So Sylvester Stallone. So again, you can have them as Rocky, as Judge Dredd, as whatever amount of characters that you want. Um, and six zero is Shaquille O'Neal. S is six. O or uh, zero is O. And um, he's like bounce so so that's one's doing the action of Shaggy loading so he's walking across uh, zebra cross and all the traffic lights and he's bouncing the uh, you know basketball <laughs> maybe shoots it he actually maybe so this the basketball itself looks like an O so that could be the O or again since it's a basketball you can just have a hoop on the air of another traffic light so he's, he's walking across he just throws it on the hoop so you've got two ways to remember what the zero is there as well. Um, actually, I was looking last night again at, uh, I don't know why I thought about it, it was like Michael Jordan I was thinking about for some reason, I don't know why, but 
I was like, oh, I wonder what his net worth is. It was like, I think he's the richest, richest, the richest athlete in the world. Like 1.7, between 1.7 and 2.2 billion. You know how these things are. Again, what's the actual wealth? Who knows? But it's, you know, it's a decent chunk. You know, with these um, Jordan airs or whatever. Or, so, but although that's obviously Shaquille O'Neal, but, and then I think there's three. I think there's LeBron James and Tiger Woods all in the billionaire club. So, you know, is it too late for me to start, to become a basketball star? I'm only five foot seven as well, in a quarter. Uh, maybe gravity's knocked us down a quarter, I don't know, we'll see. Anyhow, so, so that was that location on there. Um, down the bottom, we'll have Ben Stiller. Actually, this is another set of traffic lights. Ben Stiller, two, two is B, six is S. And he's doing the action of um, He-Man, H-E. Uh, and there's a fire, six, I always have six as sticks, fire. Um, it's a rhyming thing. Uh, again, watch, I mean, I could go into like six. You can either have shape, the last digit is a number rhyme or a number shape. So four, door, or four, looks like a boat. Eight, gate, I guess you could have gate, or it looks like a snowman. Um, three, tree, I kind of, uh, you know, I use tree a lot. Anyhow, so, yeah, so he's turning into He-Man. You know, um, he's maybe given a bit of the Zoolander stuff. He's like, blue steel, baby. And then he kind of just like beefs out, you know, and there's flames raging in front of him. Anyhow, that's the kind of gist of it. Right, okay, my friends, I think uh, that will do for today. Thank you for watching. Um, and I shall see you tomorrow for day 33. Uh, digits 2002, no, sorry, 3201. 2000, that was years ago. 3201 to 3300. It's all happening, my friends. Actually, Almost a third of the way there. Yes, exciting stuff. Right, have a great day. See you later. Bye bye. Okay. Bing! I love it. I live for that sound. I do. <laughs> Bing! I'm gonna, I should set me an alarm clock in the morning for that. Uh, I know sometimes I sound like. I think I sound like I've got a mouthful of marble or something when I'm talking. Actually, there was an, or an orator, I can't remember his name. Back in the old Greek times, um, when I deploy these memory techniques and I start using them all the time, I'll, I'll be like, oh, there's a Greek guy, he's called blah, blah, blah. You know, I'll be able to tell you rather than going, blah, blah, blah. What's the capital of uh, Uzbekistan? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, anyway, I did used to know that one. It's not coming. It's not Tashkent. Uh, anyhow, could be. Um, anyhow, my friends, that is... Um, oh, actually, yeah, what, what I was going to say was, so today I, I kind of... You know when you have things in your head and you're just like doing this pie thing is obviously it's taking a lot of your time up. You know, it's just a, it's like through the day I've obviously got to I've got to remember the the hundred I'm doing for the day. So I always try to be like five hundred ahead and know the five hundred for the week. But obviously all the other ones as well. I'm in, but I'm saying more clearly for that week. So I try and do the five hundred. And obviously each day I kind of go over it again just before I'm about to do it. I'm like, okay, right, so that's there. Yeah, okay, that's right, that's good. Um, but I'm always chasing this thing, and I've still got till middle of May to do this thing. And I was like, so what? I've, what I'm dedicating today to? Because I was so I've only so I've had the uh, the numbers. I had them up to like five thousand eight hundred. I've actually I've actually memorized up to. I think five and a half thousand. Um, so obviously I'm a little bit ahead. Um, and I've wrote these ones in, because I've worked out I can do 300 a week for seven weeks and 400 a week for seven weeks as well. Uh, as long as I've learned that, then I'll be ahead of when it comes to the final one. So that's kind of what I need to do. So it's not, that's not too bad. So say, you know, it's even slightly less than that. It's about 320 a week, but I want to be ahead of the last week, if you know what I mean. So I'm kind of, so I've got them in my head so that in the last week I'm already, I'm already there and I'm not chasing my tail. Anyhow, so, but I'm always chasing, I'm like, I've got to catch up, I've got to do the three for the week. So the rest of today, I, this morning I was up, so I was like literally going through all of the pie digits on me app there. So I was, uh, for some reason I've missed a page, I don't know why. But anyhow, so I've got, I've got all the digits now up to 10,000. So I've got them all written in my book which is obviously help, helpful because then I put the locations of where I am. So I use this book as a reference, even though I've got the, um, the pictures and things on the phone. So 
Anyhow, so I've got that done. Now I'm going to watch, and this might, it might sound like work, but I I'm going to watch the end of Raiders of the Lost Ark because this is where I've been taking the images from. Then I'm going to watch uh, Temple of Doom and Last Crusade today, and I'm going to get as many pictures as I can. Then I'm going to put them in my book to hopefully, if that's, going to, that's today's job, then hopefully I'm a lot of weeks ahead. Um, and I don't have to kind of like, I've got to do that on, you know, so it's just out of my head as well. I've just like, I've got the numbers, I've got the things. I can quite easily learn three to four hundred in a week, not thinking about constantly having to try and do this stuff. So it's like sometimes it's good just to pull off the band aid, spend a day or whatever, just getting some things done, and it's out of your head, and then we're kind of moving forward with the more important things. You know, but this is important for sure, but I've got other things I need to do. Anyhow, my friends, I shall see you tomorrow. Um, hope everyone's well. Have a good day, and I'll see you tomorrow again. I've just said that. Bye bye, bye bye, bye bye. <laughs>